Hello guys and welcome to my Horpa Legacy gameplay part 90 and now we'll begin with a side quest from Dick. Hello Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? And Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Nice to see you, my young friend. Uh. Who lived here, I wonder?
Shotgun. Incendio. Confringo. Protego. Incendio. Is that all they're teaching in school these days? Uh, oh, Christmas. Christmas. Shall we finish what we started? Incendio. Confringo. Back for more. Ah. Not the bright the lamb returns to the wolf. Confringo! Confringo! You definitely want to buy out! For my own! Petrificus Totalis! Revelio! What are you up to now? A blockade. Rookwood's poachers are already here. Revelio. <laughs> Revelio. Incendio. Bombarda. Revelio. Could the phoenix be in there? Incendio. Confringo! Bombarda! Defender! Incendio! Revelio. Incendio. Incendio. Bombarda. Defender. Accio. Confringo. Confringo. Now you're just getting on my door. Confringo. I want to take it. Incendio. Bombarda. What uh, have you done? Incendio. Defender. Uh. Revelio. Incendio.
More poachers? How many are there? Incendium! Bombarder! Incendium! Protegos! Stupefy! Bombarda! Incendio! Rebellion. The Phoenix. It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. Incendio! You can have it. Bombarder! Defender! You'll need to be quicker than that! Crookwood, don't let you regret that! Confringo! Defender! The beasts are safe. Revelio! There it is again. Repairo. Revelio. Whoa. Whoa. 
Incendio. Rebellion. Bombarda. Defender. Incendio. Accio. Depulsa. Confringo. Cruise. Defender. Bombarda. Ugh. Shame you're so foul. Incendio. Confringo. Defender. Bombarda. Incendio. Incendio. Lumos. The Pulsar. Incendium. Rebellion. Incendium. Incendium. 
Revelio, incendio. Bombarda. Revelio. Take you somewhere safe. Let's get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. This looks intriguing. Incendio! Bombarda! Defender! Incendio! Confringo! Crucio! Imperial! Confringo! Protego! Incendio! Bombarda! Defender! Revelio! Incendio! Rebellion. The ball son. Revelio. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Depulsa. Accio. Accio. Indadium Leviosa. Vigdanium Leviosa. Repairer.
Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... What a beauty. You keep it close. Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. Nothing to identify, for now at least. Revelio.
wonder who lives here. Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, He's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. Seems a pleasant enough little place. What do we have here? A demigod. Mine now, demigod. Poor Mary, a victim of her own greed. No matter what, she didn't deserve to be killed by her spiders. <sighs> you think you know people. It's not for... What sort of thing are we looking for? Nice doing business with you.
Thank you for stopping in. Be sure to visit us again soon. Revelio. Children are too young to attend Hogwarts. <laughs> I'd hate it if my father was headmaster. Today's lesson we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. Now for a stroll to the Bell Tower entrance hall. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the Bell Towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, and, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellion. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? I... I think I know that name. Hmm. 
well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Oh, of course. Odgok said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Well, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft, another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Revelio. This isn't. Can you tell me where I might find Grimbald Weft? Oh yes, Grimbald Weft. Quick with a needle and thread, that one. He's a fascinating artifact of the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. At any rate, he can be found nearby, perched in his case. Rebellion. Oh, yes, I see you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Ash Buttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Rebellion. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights, or rather, statues of knights, I should Clarify. A bandman class to wander the halls is in keeping with Professor Binz's manner of teaching. Countenance nestled among the ranks. Sir Skagglethorpe the Hebrew. These bits of broom are all that's left of a witch called Celine Wartnobby. Rumor has it. Breaking her experimental lunar apparition charm. She was never seen again. Perhaps he succeeded. I suppose we'll never know. Rebellion. If you fail history of magic, you're doomed to repeat it. Make the waving statue. Class, leave it to Bins to make the most interesting school in the world seem dull. Hogwarts founders could never have achieved such architecture. This is a centuries-old likeness of Pangadon. Fearless mouse hunter, devoted study companion. People have always loved that. And that comforting. Incendio. Rebellion. Hogwarts is impervious to the inexorable march of time. Perhaps that is why I admire it so. Professor Binns, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. 
Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Hmm. History does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. Looks like we've all gone in another one of Finch's wild goose chases. How can we do so much and accomplish so little? Alohomora. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Finite. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Repero. Accio. Depulso. Alohomora.
What do we have here? A demigod. Mine now, demigod. Revelio. Akio. Akio.
Protego! Accio! Protego, Akio. Yeah. Akio.
Revelio. Revelio. The pulsar. Off on another adventure, are we? <laughs> you don't fill up so much, you can actually go further. It's true. Eat a big meal, you'll be slowed down. Sitting on the dragon fight was the best decision. Nothing pleasant about this coast. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These Keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh, either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Don't let your frustration get the better of you. Fine. I'll defer to your Keeper friends. For now. But I don't like it. We don't have a choice. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here?
Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Bombarder! How nice of you! Incendio! Defendo! Confringo! Yes! Stupid this out. No better than this. Bombarder. Oh, Stupefy. Patrificus Totalis. All of Ranrock's deserve the same fate. Nice work. Incendio. Bombarder. Thestrals overhead? Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. Revelio! All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. I bet the Thestral Nest's close by. Incendio! Revelio! Lumos! Lumos. Bombarda! I'm sorry we can both see Thestrals. It's certainly not something I'd hoped we'd have in common. Revelio! Bombarda! Revelio! Wait, we should have some sort of plan. Totalis. Revelio. They got what they deserved. What were you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed. But I didn't. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Revelio. Oh. 
Revelio. Ramrock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that, goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. Someone's here. Confringo. Bomba. Windows. All of Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Rebellion. Bombarda. Lumos. Lumos. Lumos! I agree! Only good wizards are dead wizard. Ranrock's got that right. And I'll be most keen to help him achieve his goals in that regard. I won't rest until you're dead. Akio. Crucibles. Confringle. Defender. Incendio. Bombarda. You can't stop incendio. Deadly mistake. Imperial. Well. Defender. Confringer. Why is it grapple you are? This must be it. Sebastian, wait. Wait? For what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said... Oh, your goblin friend? Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me, or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. Revelio.
So far, so good. Charming. Spiders. How fitting. Incendio. Bombarda. Defendo. Rebellion. Bombarda. Incendio. Defendo. Defendo. Depulso. Ah. Uh, Incendio. I've done it myself. Bombarda. Defendo. Incendio. Incendio. Bombarda. Rebellion. Incendio. One nudge and that chest might have fallen. Oh, I think three nudges at least. These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. Lenny Oster! Bombarda! Defendo! Springo! We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Incendio! Incendio! Lenny Bombarda! Staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Rebellion. Bombarda. Incendio. Rebellion. Defendo. Then bring up. Incendio. Annoying. Bring up beasts, aren't they? Bombarda. Incendio. In Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. Defender. Bombarda. Incendio. Defender. 
Bombarder. Incendium. Defender. Getting through the cavern can't be the only challenge. Perhaps we should search for runes. Revelio. Incendium. You've seen rune symbols like these before. Revelio. Incendium. Can't get out of here quick enough. Journal entry. We should look for more. Revelio. She kept all her journal entries in one place. Nothing like an angry troll to bring friends together.
Repair it. That was a piece of work. Rebelling. More than one. Incendio. Revelio. Rebellion. A journal entry. Isadora was here. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Rebellion. I'm out of breath after all of those says, but the view, well worth it. Incendio. Rebellion. Another barrier. We can blast through. I'm certain. Good news? This journal entry sounds worrisome. This can't be a dead end. Must be another floor above us. Incendium! as good as if I'd done it myself. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. But the triptych pointed us here. Another rune symbol. I feel as if I should be fluent in ruining Rebellion. by now. Another area, Isadora. Rebellion. Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. <laughs> Rebellion. The final canvas piece to the triptych. 
We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light Rebellion. on this. I cannot believe the journey this triptych took us on. This is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. <laughs> huh. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder... What is it? Let's find out. I cannot bring my brother back, Father. But I can give you peace. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I have something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. Thank you. It did indeed. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this? A nerve, son. Oh, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. But someone will be. She took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? 
You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroft, the destroyed painting, it was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes, yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain, it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then for Anne. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? Rebellion. Lord Goth's getting himself into more danger than he realizes. I'd better find him. Okay guys, that's it for this part. Thank you for watching. Don't like to subscribe, like and share. That's it for now. See you next part. Bye.